been probably one of the most ardent backers of Ukraine in the Senate here, but what took so long to get some of these other eight Republicans persu persuaded to your position here? Was it the overall nature of this bill, and what was lost yeah. in that time period for Ukraine? Well, that's a good question. You already know the answer. I, I think the demonization of Ukraine began by Tucker Carlson who, in my opinion, ended up where he should have been all along, which is interviewing Vladimir Putin. And so he had an enormous audience, which convinced a lot of rank-and-file Republicans that maybe this was a mistake. I think the former uh, president had sort of mixed views on it. We all felt that the border was a complete disaster, myself included. And Chad, you remember covering the phases we went through. First, there was an effort to make law, which requires you to deal with Democrats. And then a number of our members thought it wasn't good enough. And then our nominee for president didn't seem to want us to do anything at all. That took months to work our way through it. So we ended up doing the supplemental that was originally proposed, which dealt with not all problems, it didn't solve the border problem, but certainly addressed the growing threats at the moment. Mr. Lee, 